Hello again, folks, and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors and our Halloween special. So it's come to our attention uh, through the wonderful work being done by the Science Institute of Hollywood Movies that the 31st of October, or Halloween, is the most likely time that your home, your town, or even your entire country might be overrun by ghoulish fiends from beyond the grave. Now, we're always concerned about the safety and security of our viewers, so we decided we're going to put this video together for you uh, with some tips around how to get rid of some of these ghoulish things and uh, what kind of tools that we're going to be using to, to do the job. The first creature on our list is none other than the vampire, Dracula Nosferatu. Now, if uh, you live in Transylvania or perhaps Sunnydale, California, you should be very familiar with them. Now, the Science Institute of Hollywood Movies tells us that there's a number of ways to dispatch with these guys, but today we're going to be focusing on two. Now, the first way is a good old stake through the heart, and we thought a bow might be a very good choice for this one. So, to help us with that, we go to our good friend Eric down under in uh, Australia to show us the proper technique to dispatch of this uh, blood-sucking fiend. An added benefit of using a boat to dispatch vampires is that it could turn into a wonderful evening of vampire slaying for the whole family. Fun times. The second way to dispatch of a vampire is to remove his head from his shoulders. Now we're not as sophisticated as our friends down under and we decided we're going to go for our Daria Mark 12 12 gauge shotgun. And we think this has got enough oomph to do it and vampires are known for being uh, quite, quite quick on their feet so uh, being a semi-auto box fed will give you that follow up shots if needed. Now we l heard about a vampire lurking about so let's see if we can find it and put our theory to the test. The second one on our list is werewolves. Now these overgrown moon-loving dogs are really impervious to a lot of things. However, the Science Institute of Hollywood Movies says that they could be easily taken care of with a silver bullet. Now this causes a couple of different issues. Firstly, if uh, you cast a bullet in silver, the weight is not enough to even penetrate a gel block, let alone the skin of these overgrown German shepherds. So uh, that leaves us with a little bit of a dilemma. Our choice for this job is going to be our good old 30-30 Marlin uh, lever action using Winchester silver tip bullets. Now again, they don't travel in packs, so if you do need a follow-up shot, the lever action should be able to do the job. So uh, we heard a little bit of a noise back here, so we're going to see if we can find that werewolf and put that theory to the test. So for our third goal, we're going to look at zombies. Now, according to the Science Institute of Hollywood Movies, uh, a few things would influence our choice here. Firstly, we're going to choose a 9mm pistol. Uh, the reason for that is you can carry a lot of ammo, they're normally pretty slow moving, and the particular one that we're going to be using would be the Sig Sauer M17, because it's the US military's new uh, firearm. Now you might ask yourself, what is, why is that significant? Well, again, according to the Science Institute of Hollywood Movies, uh, chances are that a zombie outbreak is A, going to happen in the United States, B, they're super slow moving, so you're going to have a lot of time to do nice and aimed shots with a 9mm to their head, and uh, also, for some reason, they keep overrunning the US Army. So if you have the same handgun as that the Army uses, you're very likely going to find a lot of spare mags and a lot of ammo lying around if you need them. Now, we've had a report that there's some zombies lurking around the pistol bay, so we're going to see if we can find them and check if this gun really works.
So there you have it, folks. Those are our choices. Um, we hope that uh, you now feel safer and more secure for this uh, Halloween and your, with your family. Uh, let us know in the comments what your choices would be. And guys, if you enjoyed the video or had a bit of fun with us today, uh, please hit that subscribe button on the next page. It's going to look like a black bear badge. And uh, stay safe and responsible this Halloween and have fun. See you next time.